after winning the amazing race, Kim and I realized that we could win at anything as long as we work together. Now, we want to unlock that win at anything potential in you. Chip and I are so inspired by promoting happy, healthy, and thriving relationships. Oh, you can't be sounding all coquettish, girl. You know how you expect me to concentrate on anything, but you know what? You are so cute. (laughs) Welcome to this episode of My Queen and I. Welcome, honey. Hey, how are you? Wait, I was trying to sing to that, oh. and I was sounding off too. Well, no, no, I was no, killing baby, myself. I was wondering. <laughs> you're beautiful, but nobody has ever called okay, you Mariah baby. Carey. Um, but <laughs> just a little tone down, <laughs> baby. I'm so excited about today. I mean, because you know, I'm always excited, but today extra special because one of my dearest friends. From Renaissance Club Sport, my man that that we used to work out with. Um, We've wanted to interview him for so long, and it's just so amazing that we finally get the opportunity. And when he was at the Renaissance Club Sport, he was all... He was all lonely and yeah. looking for love in all the wrong places. I and, remember. And, 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 and was just wondering <laughs> if he ever had a, a a chance at love again. And, uh, well, I'm just messing <laughs> with him because they're all right now. <laughs> they are. <laughs> we have some of the most wonderful guests, Kim. Why don't you tell people who we're about to speak with today? Okay, let me introduce the wonderful, the fabulous... Mr. Steven and Flora. <laughs> hey, you two. Hey. Hello. hello, hello. Wow, the, the Thompson family. You look so good, both of you guys. Oh, my gosh. You, you all, you know um, that on a weekly basis, um, what Kim's and my mission is in life is to bring light to the power of having a happy, healthy, and, and thriving marriage. And Steve... I am so happy for and proud of you that you scoured the world literally he because did. the internet is the world <laughs> and you so you were able to find your soulmate if you will and I remember the day that I met her um, when I drove up and saw that. Look at that <laughs> smile. Look at that smile. So, Steve, why don't you tell me, um, first off, how long you were looking um, for mm-hmm. your right mate? How did you meet? And just give me a little story real quick. Okay. Yeah. And, you know, it took me a while to find Flora. Um, longer than probably most people need to take. But, <laughs> but part of this is knowing that it, not easy, not simple. And um, I would, and I enjoyed actually going online and, and talking to people and, and meeting them. So my goal always was to meet as quick as possible. You know, and it's funny about the joke you had about the roses and stuff, but the reality is, you know, you want to meet somebody as quick as possible. And so my, my journey was just to keep doing that. And if I was going to LAX and there was something by LAX, I'd meet them, right? So it was kind of fun to just kind of go through the process of meeting all these, you know, all these different people until, because I had a strong why. I knew if I got married to the right person for the third time, I would be, it would work out, it would work out great. And so, so you you ask about meeting, you know, her and I meeting. I mean, I did literally just keep, um, so let's just go for a second because it's kind of fun. I would get, I wouldn't take long to meet somebody. I mean, if I couldn't meet somebody, you know, if they wanted to talk long or email long, Never happened. But when I did, well, I'd get on the phone and I'd say, can you pass, P-A-S-S, the kissing test? And, oh, and the, and you know, wait, 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 wait. Let, let, let's back up. Oh, okay, what, yeah. What is the kissing test? It still makes me blush. I'm oh, 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 come on, you know. Steve. Well, well you, know, no, you know, if you talk to a 21-year-old hairstylist, she'd say, oh, yeah, if I could kiss before I went out, I would do it, right? Because why do you want to wait to date if the person can't kiss, right? I mean, you would agree with that. (laughs) Wait, we're learning some stuff here. I agree 1,000%. But guess what? I I may be obtuse, and I admit I am. What is the kissing test? (laughs) Well, she can tell you. (laughs) Okay, Flora. What is it, Flora? Okay, tell me. 
Well, then let me back up. A little bit. So, so we we met online and we arranged to meet in person because that's what he says is his criteria. I mean, you don't want to fall in love with a figment of your imagination, right? So we met at a restaurant early in the morning. Yeah, actually. Early, yeah. yeah, we had breakfast. And yeah. as I recall, it was raining. We, I mean, I, I'll talk about all the connections later, but the kissing test, he wanted to walk me out to my car. And, um, you know, we had a great report. It was really, really exciting. And so he walked me out to my car and he hopped right in and he, he got in on the passenger side and I got in on the driver's side and we talked a little bit more and he went, he moved for the kiss and I was nervous. <laughs> for me, it had been a, yeah, it had been a long time. It had been a long time since I kissed anybody. And um I liked it. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Did I'm you, blessing. Kim, I'm blessing Kim, Did you see that look from the floor? And I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Uh, yeah, I did indeed, and so apparently I passed because right. then, oh. then we uh, scheduled a, a first date. You know, when I was on the phone, I would I would seriously ask that on every phone call if I was going to meet somebody, and all, they would all do what you two do. They laugh, right? Yeah, and get it it's fun. But but I was saying too that if, that if I met a twenty one year old hairstylist and she said, "Oh, if I could kiss the guy before I went out with him." I'd really like that because we all know if you meet them and they can't kiss, I mean, you know, that there you go. Kiss, it would have been over. I mean, you've made it hard enough for him as it was, you know, to, right. mean, you made it quite difficult for him to actually, you know, hang out with him. Wait, know? can I ask one quick question just so everybody kind of knows, because what we want to do is let our audience know that it is never too late. To find the right love. Can I ask you guys your ages when you guys met each other? So I'm uh so I was like 66, 65, and 66, and you were 62. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. That's amazing. That is yeah. amazing. That's so yeah. awesome. Yeah. Let's not take for granted that everybody knows what you did. So which yeah. site were you on and which other sites yeah. did you frequent <laughs> while you were looking for your partner? Okay, you want so, to answer that. Well, she, she can tell you which one we met on. Yeah, we met on Christian Mingle, and oh. that was the only one that I was on. Right, okay. Yeah. But I but I was on everything that, you know, plenty of <laughs> Everything's smoking. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Cupid. Yeah. The only thing I wasn't really on was, was you know, the, the one right, the, the one that, you know, the young people use more often that Kinder, of course, where you look at a picture. And right, right. If you like the picture, then you go to the profile. But, uh, yeah, so I was on a whole bunch of them, and I enjoyed it. And a lot of them are free, as we know, and some are, and some are. And, um, yeah, the only one I, I wasn't on was the one that you paid a lot of money, and they tried to match you up. That right. wouldn't have worked. Oh, right, 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 right. We heard about that. Uh, right. So, Steve, what was it in Flora's profile that attracted you to her? And then the same question – to you, Floor, what attracted yeah. you to my Stevie? Okay, the, the, well, first off, she didn't tell me that she loved quilting and painting and <laughs> gardening and, and reading and all these things. And she was a dental hygienist. That might have, I might have gone, oh, no. You know, it's awful. But, <laughs> Thank you for the overlook, but, but, but really, the profile itself wasn't as important as just what she looked like mm -hmm. and the fact I could meet her because, and, you know, I liked where she lived. So that was important to me where somebody lived. Right. But that would, but really, that's what I'm really trying to say is, you know, get past all this other stuff, you know, cricket you can and me, if possible, if you at least like something about the person. Right, right. And then what did you yeah. like about, about um, you know, Steve used to tell me um, that his last name was Bond, Steve Bond. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, wasn't, I wasn't looking for that. <laughs> for me, it was somebody that had a focus on health. And Steve oh, actually yeah. put the word in his profile, anti-aging. And wow. so he I was working it. with some products that he was uh, selling. And uh, that sparked an interest for me because I, my history is that I have had two husbands in the past that, that both passed away from 
uh, heart attack, sudden oh. cardiac arrest. And for me, it was, I am not going to try to drag somebody else along that doesn't have a healthy lifestyle because that's of supreme importance to me. Yeah. So that was the first thing that made me push the button on him. So, and then, and then, oh, what a bonus. Yeah. <laughs> so, <Aww. laughs> wow. well, we, you know, for me, if I can just digress just a little bit, is I really believe that to do this, you really have to have a strong why. You have to want to watch Ozark like you guys did all the way basically to the end to see the best episodes, right? Right. I mean, you yeah. really have to, you have to really want to do this because otherwise you're going to quit after meeting two or three or four people. And I think that's really important to, uh, for people to know that, you know, that it, it's so worth it. And what I'm trying to say is that together we have nine grandkids and we yeah. spend about a hundred days yeah. a year just with grandkids. And, yeah. you know, so to be together I have five, she has four. Now we have nine together. Well, I mean, there's so many, I, I, I want to tell everybody out there, there's so many bonuses to being in, into a, you know, quality relationship. You get, yeah. you get more family, you get more joy, you get more love, you get, you know, all these things that you get from like you guys. I mean, you guys <laughs> just exuberate love and empathy and, you know, just, and service and, you know, and, and you talk about your church and it's just fantastic. So it, it's it's amazing oh that's so awesome you guys here's what i i always want to offer to our viewers is because you know there are a lot of people out there who were exactly in your positions before before you two met right, right. and yeah. they so some of them probably felt like okay god I, I know you love me and everything but i'm lonely or maybe not even lonely but i want somebody who c considers me special who i want a, a mate so why don't you both talk to me about that lonely feeling and maybe if you ever thought about that it's impossible for me to beat somebody and then what it felt like and tell them if they should continue on you know what i'm talking about i just always felt confident that if I did this enough, I would meet somebody. But but also part of that, and 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 you know me, Chip, as far as, you know, if if I didn't have the number one thing I think you need to to know is that you have to not only not that it's not going to be easy, you have to a strong why, the reason to do it, but you you have to get you have to get yourself ready for this too. You know, your empathy, your love, your servant you're giving, you're, you know, ask questions. I mean, so that the person that, so you're meeting somebody that you'll want to meet as opposed to, you know, that you actually qualify for. Right. So, right. Yeah. So I think that, that, you know, that, that's what I think is one of the, the most important thing to do. And because most people, they're going to quit after three, they're going to go, Oh, Oh, there's yes. people I met. You just can't believe it. Oh, you can't, you know, it's just like, this is horrible. And yeah. So that's what I'm, you know, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Hang in there yeah. and keep going because it's yeah. so worth it. Amen. Yeah. 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 No, well, for me, I just remember having an epiphany one night. I was relaxing on my couch and I looked over at my front door and I realized no one is going to come walking through that front door. <laughs> oh. If I want to meet a new partner and I knew I wanted to meet a partner, I knew I had to put out some effort and mm -hmm. uh, lucky for me, I had a girlfriend who had been single for a while and she coached me. I, I was not real strong on uh, computer skills and even to just get a photograph and to sign up to, to work with one of the, um, the websites, th that was a hurdle to, oh, to, yeah. to get over. And, um, I approached it a little bit differently from Steve. I looked at it like having to go for a job interview. And I, you know, I don't really love job Whoa. interviews, but I know that they're necessary in order to get a good job. Right. And so, you know, so I did look online and I did look at the questions and I kind of um, got myself some little notes, like when I was going to approach the dating, like questions to ask what to look for, because, you know, I mean, this is new for all of us. Uh, 
you know, when we were younger, you would meet people at school functions yes. or it, and when we had young families, you know, other parents of children and that kind of thing. But at this phase of life, you know, your social contacts are limited for sure. Absolutely. And so, so I, I embraced it, you know, like one step at a time. And um, <laughs> I, I feel very blessed to have found this man. So just saying. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so Kim, um, Kim and me, we know how athletic and how competitive Ooh. and how active Steve is. Whoa. Because I'm because I can just remember um at Renaissance Club Sport in Aliso <laughs> Viejo where Steve would, where Nigel would have us going over those steps and Steve would be tearing those steps up. And, and wait, be elbowing and elbowing knocking us people. down. Man, he always, he, he, he's, he's competitive, boy. But that that's what you have to do. But Flora, so in essence, you knew that you didn't want to get, if somebody said, I love to be a homebody and stay at home. Oh. And eat, you, you yeah. That ain't going to do it. Not in Not today's age. In yeah. Right. Been there and done that. Yeah. Right. So Flora, um, let me ask you, how, how long was your, um, from the day your girlfriend put your picture up on, um, on Christian Mingle, um, how long did it take before you met Steve? Two months. Wow, that's that's it was that? really quick. I, I was wow. extremely lucky. And the truth of it is he is the third man that I met. What? So the third Yeah. So, so how were the first two? Well, not <laughs> well one one the first one, you'll love this. Lied about his height. Uh, they that all is do. It. They all do. <laughs> yeah. And I thought, when when do you think I'll figure that out? You know? <laughs> but uh, we went out for a meal, and I asked him if he wanted to share the meal. And uh, he said no. He wanted to order his own thing. And, you know, some of those cues that you get from those uh, the dating websites is like, see if they put the salt and pepper shaker back over toward your side or, you know, that kind of thing. Well, anyway, he I didn't want to he didn't want to share the meal. Oh, my God. And then when we were finished, then he goes, oh, goody, I have enough to take back home. <laughs> and I thought, oh. OK, that's not a real good sign. <laughs> right, 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 right. Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, and then and then the second one was a recent widower and he was looking more just for a friend rather than a partner and so it oh i know what else happened to yeah, it, yeah it, and, and that, my yeah. close girlfriend got sick and his friend had just passed away i mean mm -hmm. his wife had just passed away from cancer and he didn't want to be around that so right. hey praise the lord right, and right. you know and then then you then got fucked up Steve. So wow. Wow. she didn't have to go through all the stuff I had to. Well, okay, Steve, here's <laughs> yeah. what I want from you. Because I, I, yeah. I know I know Steve has some good ones. <laughs> like, Steve, yeah. I, love it. Yeah. I want you to give me a few horror <laughs> stories. Yes. Laura, I know he's told you some. So come on, Steve. Oh, yeah. You, you got to give me a few funny horrors or horror stories. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well. There, there are actually quite a, quite a few in the <laughs> in the sense that, you know, in the sense that that people would just, I mean, like, you know, I I would convince a gal to drive, say, from Idlewild or something, you know, a couple hours to see me, and she'd show up, and you just immediately know this is not happening, you know, yeah. and so you, I'm trying to, you know, you everything I could to convince her to drive that way, but then it's like, oh no, you know, and it's just like, and I think that that I think the horror stories are more like. People are cartoon characters. Right. You know, look at them as cartoon characters, and and you won't you won't be disappointed because there are so many people that you think are going to be you know that you're just going to resonate with, and you just don't. And, right. and, and then and then the biggest challenge is how do you get away from them once you once oh, yeah. you're there? Yeah. Like, oh, let's meet in the library, right? Because that should be a good way to exit. But it's not. So you always have to have a way to exit from when you meet somebody. Because I didn't like to sit there and talk to somebody I didn't want to see again. So I think that's the biggest part of right. it. Yeah, there's, yeah. Steve, there's nothing really that, that would 
really humorous other than the fact that that it was just so many of these situations. Oh, but no, no, no. <laughs> Wait, trust me, Steve. When you get through with this interview, you guys are going to say, uh-huh. oh, I should have told that. <laughs> right, right, you right. have to have about 45. <laughs> but, okay, so I'll ask you the same question. Um, from the first time you put your first picture on your first site, when was that? And how many years ago was that? And then I'm going to ask you the big question mm-hmm. after that. So I want you to be thinking about, and that is, how many dates have you been on, Steve? And I say this not to discourage, but to encourage, okay? So yes. I met at least 200 people. And I know that team, did, I know that, I, I didn't know if you're really going to ask that question. Or not, <laughs> but I don't want discour- to discourage anybody, but the reality is that's where I'm saying, like, if I drove to, if I drive from LAX and there was somebody by LAX, then I would stop and meet them. But I, but I would never drive very far because you just knew that your chance of meeting somebody you like was not that great. But most people, I'd say, twenty or less, and you, you'll be fine. You said, you said you're not driving out of like uh, Orange County. <laughs> Or, or maybe LAX, but you're making people drive all the way from Utah to see yeah. you. So what's up with that? <laughs> yeah. That's true. That is true. That's true. But I would not. That's true. That's true. <laughs> but you know what I, you, what I like about what you said, Steve? It, it sounds like you worked on yourself for a while. But then what you really what really resonated in your spirit is you knew that you needed to know and have a why, you know, before you you were going to find your right mate. And I'm wondering if that really is the key to finding the right mate so that maybe people aren't going to have to, you know, go on so many dates and, and, you know, do the 200 dates as opposed to like what Flora did, only three. I love hearing that floor and again i just call these meetups not days but anyway but the uh you know they're supposedly be you know quick and you kind of know i mean right you know Kim. even when you were you know i mean when when he was trying to court you you know you knew what uh you knew what you liked what you did pretty quickly (laughs) right (laughs) and and in the beginning you you know anyway no but but it's it's true and you don't and it you absolutely are clear you know you have to work on on yourself and you have to be interested in other people and you have to get to where you have the empathy and the love and the mm-hmm. and the joy and all those things and that and the healthy look to, to get there and then your why your why is so crucial because it's so easy to give up you know it's so mm-hmm. easy to think oh you know i met the jerk and oh and i now i met 10 jerks and oh you know you're gonna find the jerks out there unless you're like her and lucky right oh <laughs> right Think about how it would have been if you wouldn't have found each other. Have you even thought about that? Ooh. You mean, mean, oh, for now? Yeah, no, it wouldn't be fun. No, this wouldn't be fun. I would not be doing the kissing test. <laughs> <laughs> well, that. <laughs> well, thank thank you for that, Steve. But yeah. that's right. During this quarantine, if you are online dating, you really cannot do the meetups right. at this point. Well, so you, it's you tough. have to do them from a distance. Yeah. You have to, plan it well and all that stuff yeah. and maybe be at the beach or something where you're meeting from a distance, but you're right. It's hard. It yeah. would be, it, mm-hmm. you're absolutely right, Kim. And so Chip, you're right. It would have been, this would not have been fun when I'm hiking now and I can't talk to people. It's like, Oh, yuck. Mm-hmm. So you're, that's absolutely true. It's hard. Flora, what would you tell somebody who's looking at this right now? And the reason they're looking at it, they've seen us advertise that um, it's never too late how would you encourage or tell someone that there's always a chance to find the perfect person for you? Well, let me think about that. Uh, yeah. And unless you put yourself out there, you're never going to find out. So I would, I would just definitely say, if you want to make it happen, you need to stretch yourself a little bit. You need to give it a try because it is so well worth it. And, and then, you know, like I said, I, could not expect somebody to come knocking on my door that, I mean, it's going to take some effort. And I, I, I have heard of so many people that have had very successful relationships. I mean, marriages that come out of online dating have a very high success rate. And then you think about that back throughout your life, more so than, you know, somebody that you randomly would meet in high school or college or, you know, young adulthood. So I would say, Go for it. Give it a try. 
But if, and I say, and I say, if you just give it a try, it's not. Most of the time, it's not going to work. You have to have a. You have to. You have to really want it. Yeah. Now, Flora, the one thing I want to say about you is you are so wholesome and sweet, and that is so awesome because you keep everything you said. You that you know you say meet at college or school <laughs> or at a library. Cause see, I was at the clubs, at, at the, the concerts, bars. at the bars, and that's where. I was. <laughs> yeah. So see, but then it was another day back then. That that's what. Oh, no, that. I no. Oh, trust me, I hung out at bars, <laughs> and, and I remember the type of people. Right. Right. would say, take me home. Right. And, oh, my um, God. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. Now, see, Steve Steve is so innocent. He's never been to a bar before. Uh-uh. So. <laughs> no. Of course. Of course. Right. Yeah. Just call Steve the kissing bandit. Right. So, Steve, <laughs> and, and, then, and then you, Flora, what parting words would you have to say to the people listening to um, let them know the, the virtues or the pitfalls of online dating? Well, the virtues are that we have these two wonderful families together that my five young that were just mine now that are together, young grandkids that are, you know, 17 months to, you know, uh, seven years have this amazing, amazing Mm -hmm. grandmother. And they they all, you know, they see her as as their grandmother. We spend 100 days a year basically with them. She, you know, she had a five you know, mother who, of course, you guys were kind enough to do that 113 nativity scenes. And oh. so we have this amazing, and now I have a daughter through her, you know, because of her daughter and, and a son through her. So, you know, I have just, not only do I have nine grandkids, but then I have additional, you know, a, a, yeah. additional, you know, I have a son-in-law now additional. Yeah. So that the virtues are just unbelievable. Plus, you know, I love physical affection. I mean, I'm hoping I'm making that particularly clear. <laughs> Nothing. That's the virtue. Physical affection. Wait, wait, wait. And Flora said, he sure does. He's shabby. The man loves it. <laughs> we know. <laughs> so, you know, so, so, so Look at Steve virtues. already. The pitfalls, are, the pitfalls are, are strong, and that is that you have to have a, you have to want this. And I, I know I keep saying the same thing, but it's so important to know that you have to want this and you have to want somebody that meets your, I mean, that, that you, that you qualify for. And there's been a lot of studies on online dating that, you know, a lot of people are looking for someone who had 20% more than what they are, or, you know, or think they should have. So they're really looking for somebody who just doesn't almost doesn't exist. Right. And so, yeah, so that one of the pitfalls is, you have to be realistic. Right. Yeah. 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 Realistic. Yeah. And my, I guess the pitfall that I would warn or caution about is if you are connecting and communicating with somebody, get face to face with them as soon as you can. And don't think that you're going to fall in love with somebody's emails. And I, you know, I do know of stories of people that have fallen in love with somebody that really was just fabricated. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you have to have chemistry. I mean, Steve is talking about that, 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 I mean, we are human, that, that is so important. So, you know, like Steve says, it's going to take some effort, but boy, is it worth it. Steve, yeah. Steve, have you great. since you you have more experience than Flora, have you experienced or or do you know about catfishing? Well, I, I saw what you I saw that interview that you guys did, yeah, yeah. where people pretend that they're yeah. That they're yeah, it's sort of like that person that would, was stringing you along for three months when you were a new realtor, something that wouldn't happen today because you have more experience. Oh yeah. Yeah, it, it it happened to my sister. Um, she she met two fellows that were doing that, and then after about oh, I think it was nine encounters with them, then they asked her for just weird things that she would donate money to something that they were working with, and oh boy, and, and then her little heart was broken because she thought she was in love and she she's never even them. seen them. Wow, so, that's right. Yeah, so meet yeah. as soon as, as possible. possible. Yeah, get it I mean, get, get face to face. Make sure they're real. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, indeed. Well, that's great. Well, Kim, do you have any more questions for this? I don't. Couple? I mean, that's that's this great is- advice, and and that's what I'm getting from it. It seems like you have to get in front of that person as soon as possible, and you know? exactly, and see them for yourself. Yeah. 
Yeah. And, 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 guys, and, don't, and, and don't get any don't get any attachments until you do. Or, right. Or, right. Right. Don't get any um, emotional attachment to them until you until actually you meet them. Exactly. Well, Flora, it is such a a joy to to get to know you because I consider Steve my brother. Yeah. And so it's just really great. Thank and, you. Uh, and Steve, thank you so much. You are uh, one of the most encouraging people in my life. You always have the, the most fantastic, um, encouraging, edifying words for me. And Kim and I love you yeah, so much. Yeah, we so, love you, so Stevie and Flora. So thank you for joining on our... <laughs> well, you. and, and, you're, and you're unbelievably edifying. I mean, yeah. Yesterday when we were talking, you said, you know, you said that I know more about you than you know about yourself, and you couldn't say anything more edifying than that. Oh, you know, it's just unbelievable. That's one thing I gotta say, Flora. It could yeah. be a blessing and a curse. Steve remembers everything, doesn't he? Oh my god! Oh, I am so oh. I'm I'm very grateful for okay. that. Oh my! Oh but it god. can be a curse. Awesome. Right, right. Oh my god! Because Steve, remember, I'm like saying, "Wow, I don't even remember that about me." <laughs> exactly. I love right? it. Yeah. Good, Steve. Well, we love you and thank yeah. you for joining on this episode of My Queen and I. And thank you yeah. so much, Steve. Thanks and so much for having yeah. us. Thank you. Oh, what awesome. a joy. Hope to see you soon. Oh, we will. We will. Love you guys. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> Kim, was that amazing or what? It was. I it mean, was. you talk about the salt of the earth, and yeah. for someone to be able to find um, the love of their lives, and they have um, that commonality of working yeah. out together, and and it's just amazing to be over sixty and. But they're full of life and they want to enjoy life and they're encouraging. And the know? thing that I love about mm -hmm. what Flora says is that she says that she looked at her door and she realized mm -hmm. that nobody's going to come no. walking through that door. So she has to put in some effort. You know, she believes in God. She's a yeah. Christian woman, but she's not going to just be sitting up there, you know, God bring me. So yeah. she just, <laughs> you know. She had to take a step. A step, right. A step. That's right. That's how and, it starts. And then with Steve, Steve was saying, don't just do it and half do it. He says your why has to be big. Mm -hmm. So I really hope that that people out there got something out of this um, with online dating, no matter where you are in age, yes. no matter how many marriages you've been through, if you really put forth the effort, you could have a queen in your life. Amen. Amen. Well, my dear, do you have anything else to say today? I don't, other than I love you. Oh, man. <laughs> see, it's about to, we about to get it on in a minute. Don't don't look at me and say it like that. Well, anyway, here's what I want to do. I want to tell you that I love you um, with all of my heart, and thank you so much for being the queen in my life. And then I'll tell you, as I always tell you every week, if you make your woman the queen in your life. Every day you live on this earth will be a little slice of heaven. We'll see you next time, next week on My Queen and I. All right, love you guys. <laughs>